In the world of business, the guy knows what moves to make. It seems like he's 15 moves ahead. He knows his next five moves all the time. And when you look at the companies he buys, he bought Whole Foods. You're like, what? what? Whole Foods? You know, you're like, okay. Oh, I got, gee, great. Brilliant. He buys Twitch. You know, he buys, you know, Washington Post. Why would you buy Washington Post? I got it to control the narrative, a little bit of media. If they're going to come after you, you got a big platform. You got a good place. All this stuff you're looking at what he buys, Prime, all these things that he goes through that he built, you know, Zapp, uh, Zappos. There's always a motive behind where he's going himself. What's what's the motive behind his hit interest with MGM? Obviously, we don't know if the deal is going to get done or not, but what is his motive behind the, uh, what do you think is the motive behind wanting to buy MGM? Right. Well, uh, about a decade ago, well, let's start Let's start here. Uh, Amazon is the everything store. They want all their shelves full, infinite selection. And early on, DVDs, um, home movies were, were one shelf of the everything store, you know, and, and that business starts to decline. Uh, the sale of physical DVDs is going away. So what, what does Amazon do? It starts a video on demand store. You can buy movies and stream and, and download them. And then Netflix comes along with a subscription service, you know, pay a certain amount per, per month and, and watch anything you want. So Amazon copies that, Bezos integrates it into Prime. It's free for Prime members. Then Amazon and Netflix are dueling uh, to license shows like Friends or Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive. It's you know HBO and Showtime in the 80s. And what they realize is it's less expensive, more strategic to just make those shows and movies themselves. So Netflix and Amazon get into the production of, of original mm -hmm. TV shows and movies. That's the battle that we've seen now over many years. And MGM is, you know, a huge catalog of the James Bond movies, the Survivor TV show, and uh, the Rocky movies, the Creed movies. Amazon can plug into its vast catalog of Prime Video. That's a subscription service. They also have something called IMDB TV, which is a free streaming service supported by ads. So in some ways, MGM is, you know, a, a shot of steroids into, its, in, into this catalog of content that could tie people closer to the prime service. And when they're prime members or they're using IMDb TV, uh, you know, they're better Amazon customers. They're buying more, they're buying Kindles and Alexas. That's, that's essentially it. Um, it's this foot race that Amazon is engaged in with all these other companies, Disney, Apple, um, now HBO owned by Time Warner, being joined with Discovery uh, and Netflix and on and on to own entertainment in the 21st century. Got it. So almost like how Disney disconnected themselves from, you know, Netflix and they went and created their own OTT and it blew up. I think it's the fastest growing in the world right. out of all the OTTs. So he's thinking about taking the MGM catalog and adding it to Amazon. You know, uh, what, what is it called? Amazon, uh, uh, their own Hulu, their own OTT. There's a name. Yeah. So, so Prime Video. Yeah, Prime and Video. Then and then IMDb TV. And then, you know, and then also the original, you know, M MGM is a, is a movie studio and, and it's got some interesting stuff coming out. Um, it, it has the Creed franchise and Amazon is in business, you know, with um, Michael Jordan, the, the actor. Um, and, and so there's lots of avenues there for Amazon to turbocharge its, its video offerings if it buys a conventional studio. Yeah, it, it almost seems like he sits there and he says, oh, who can we go up against? Let's go against Netflix. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, let's go. Let, well, we already took out borders. Let's do Barnes. How about Walmart? You know, how about uh, right. Elon Musk? Well, he just seeds no ground, right? It's uh, it's this belief that the company yeah. that the you know that it needs it should be everywhere where the internet is offering opportunity. So he failed on the phone side, which means let's go up against Apple and uh, you know Android, for instance. Okay, Samsung, he failed there. Fine. Do you think he has anything set in the, uh, th that he may want to go up against the social media world? I'm talking Facebook, Twitter, any of those guys. It's re that's really interesting, Patrick, because early on, I, I found out that at one point he actually had some of the earliest social media patents um, and didn't do much with them. Huh. And, um, you know, I think that's one area of, you know, with which they, they haven't been that aggressive. Um, Twitch is maybe the sort of explicit, you know, anomaly there, but, but that's a little bit more of a YouTube competitor yeah, it is. Uh, and, and tied closely to video games. Um, they've, they have a, social network for books called Goodreads, but they haven't done much with it. So yeah, that's one area where maybe, maybe, uh, you know, uniquely they haven't shown much uh, ambition. Yeah. I'd be curious to know because, uh, 
you know, long term wise, that's the one area where you almost need to have some control if you want to have a so. But we saw Google try to do Google Plus and it didn't work out. Maybe he right. saw that as a playbook of, well, it's not that easy to do. Let's go different. I don't know. So, and by the way, I mean, maybe that's been smart. I mean, they've grown an advertising business without those assets, and the social networks are in the middle of a political storm that seems yeah. unending now and around free speech and political expression. Yep. And Amazon, plenty of controversy and regulatory attention, but it's managed to skate past that per- particular issue. That, that's, a, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. You always see Jack Dorsey, Zuck, all those guys, uh, you, you know, always being grilled. And I don't know if he likes being grilled. So so if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.